As many of you know from Gen Con, with fourth edition, we're looking to deliver four things with fourth edition. The first is, of course, what we all know and love, the physical product, the relaunch of the game rules, uh, an extraordinary endeavor that's taken us a little over two years now. We're going to couple that with three other things. One of which, and very important to everybody in this room, is the coordination between R&D and OP to create a game system that is sort of one rule set to rule them all. That is, the game that you play in the RPGA is the same game that everybody else plays. It's the same game. There aren't things that exist in the game that you can't bring into the RPGA table. So they want RPGA players to have all of the rules options available to any players everywhere. And this past year or two, if you talk to me and Richards, Chris Tulock, or anyone in the R&D team, we have strengthened the bond between R&D and OP to a tremendous extent. There's very little that happens between our departments, departments that we just don't know about, which is a huge, huge step forward. We're working very, very well together to create the best uh, RPG experience we can. On top of that, we're also looking to bring people into the community a little bit more, build up the community, make more DMs, get them to the shows, get people who are DMs uh, sharing their cool DM food with each other, and uh, creating an online community where we can put things up on the Insider that are official, that can be test flown, and used in games before they actually end up in a printed product, sort of taking people behind the wall do some playtesting for us, which is a huge, huge deal. And for instance, you will see uh, classes that aren't in the first player's handbook up on the Insider before they appear in other products that we will use in events. <laughs> There's stuff changing. I'm uh, not going to just read this. I'll let you guys take a look at it. Can everybody see that? No. 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 Read it, Chris. Read it. Dramatic reading. Stop touching me. I'm watching it. It's dark. You need to read it. So, D&D is D&D. We're not looking to change the way D&D runs or plays. Uh, other than to make it a better experience, to make it faster around the table, to make it more intuitive, getting rid of the things in the game that don't really feel like part of the game or that hang people up at the table. It's uh, all of that. <coughs> the play experience is very important to us. We have created a game that is more fun it is faster around the table. It doesn't demand uh, quite so much of the DM's time to prepare ahead of time. It's very fast to prepare for. The, uh, it's very easy to update your characters between the levels. It also plays game experience by giving you guys online tools that you can use as DMs and players to speed up play to develop your characters. We're going to be talking more about those specific tools very shortly. Um, in addition to uh, putting out a tremendous amount of additional editorial content, and what I mean by editorial content are the magazine type stuff, more official articles, rules to build your character, to develop your characters, all that kind of goodness. Adventure content, of course all RPGA sanctioned, and um, the integrated organized play programs include what we're sort of showing off this weekend with the living, the return of Living Forgotten Realms uh, with uh, its new uh, fourth edition uh, shine, and then we'll be uh, sharing more RPGA programs rolling out over the course of the year.
Oh, I'm sorry. So we have, um, biannual products, we sort of mean two things. One is, on the D&D Insider side, we'll be trying to collect the best of D&D Insider content into annual uh, print dragon and dungeons. In addition, we are planning to, in, the f in future years, release kind of what we've been doing with uh, 3.0, but on a more organized schedule, follow-up player's handbooks, follow-up monster manuals, the new player's handbooks will be the place where you get new classes. We're not going to try to uh, put new classes in all of our books. The idea here is that we want people to know where to go to find their classes. We want people to know where to go to find feats, where to go to find martial powers. Putting a little bit of all of that into every product, I don't think worked terribly well for us with third edition because after you amass this considerable library, it can be very hard to find the one thing that you need. So, so, <laughs> so thinking about our products more as, okay, we're gonna do a player's handbook a year, but that's where everybody's gonna get their new classes and they're gonna know where they are. It's gonna be very easy to find. As I just said, D&D Insider is the kind of digital counterpart to D&D. The way we think about this around the office is, with fourth edition, there are now many different ways to play D&D. You can play it 100% analog, like many of us do now, essentially just friends around a table with our books. You'll be able to play it 100% digital on the game table with friends that you can't get together with because they're spread across the country or across the world. And you'll be able to access all of your rules information online. Or anything in between. There's enough going on with D&D Insider and the various tools that we're offering that you can use them to enhance your tabletop paper book experience. So it is all that.